What's up, everybody? I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and this is Nerf News Episode 27. This week, we have some very exciting news, starting with this blaster right here. If you're not aware, this is the Nerf Elite Strongarm that was recently overshadowed by the Nerf Elite Disruptor. So, everyone thought the Strongarm had been discontinued, and that's even what Hasbro said. But today, by, I believe it was What the Foam posted these three new strong arm variants and i think these look amazing so these three variants are the clear variant and the orange variant which doesn't really look orange and the purple variant this is kind of a rebel color and i really like this my favorite i think is the clear because it looks amazing and you can see into it but I really like these, and these are now actually available on Amazon for $14.99, which is the same price as the original strong arm. And these will come with color matching darts. So I think this is really cool, and I really hope to pick one of the clear ones up. Next up, we have some exciting news for the Overwatch fans out there. So this is the Reaper White Edition Blaster, and this originally released in a two-pack with a Reaper mask that originally retailed for $120.99 which is ridiculous. So these are releasing now and they were seen at Walmart in Houston, Texas by a Facebook user in Nerf Modders Welcome. They look quite cool, but they're also a Kronos reshell. So they hold eight rounds. It's not a shotgun, unfortunately, but they hold eight rounds, which is fairly practical for a pistol. Unfortunately, this thing is a bit bigger than a pistol. So I wouldn't recommend this for somebody that's not an Overwatch fan, um, but for an Overwatch fan, this is pretty cool. Next up, we have some Marvel Avengers Assembler gear, and I believe this is from the new movie of Marvel Avengers Endgame. I think that's the newest movie, or the one that's coming out, I'm not sure. I'm not really a Marvel fan, so I don't follow up with it, but this is the Hulk Blaster. So there was originally a Hulk Blaster that came out with the first wave of Avengers Assembler gear, but this is a new version of it that's completely different. So the original one had like a green fist and shot one dart, but this is going to shoot what seems to be a demolisher rocket, and I think this is pretty cool. Unfortunately, none of these attachment points are really compatible with and strike attachment tooths, but I still think this is pretty cool if you are a Hulk or Marvel fan out there. So this also seems to be the same system as the Tri-Strike missile stock. Next up, we have some new news from Project FDL. So their worker order has arrived, so they are now selling Talon magazines, 40 round magazines, and 22 round magazines, as well as short darts in white and green, uh, starting now in their shop to go with their blasters as they are now making a 40 round and Talon magazine fed blaster. So these are now available in their shop and there will be a link to that in the description box below, below the post link. Next up we have some more news on the Nerf Arcade. So this has an estimated cost of $10,000, so definitely not for home use, it's for arcades only. And Jared Goints of Jared's Epic Nerf Battle is going to be hosting a launch party for it at his local Raw Thrills Arcade. and. This one is expected to ship in mid-June to all the arcades that are pre-ordering it right now. And on the Nerf Arcade, we just found out about this a bit later, but Jared Glintz of Jared's Epic Nerf Battle is actually testing this in Las Vegas, I believe, and is working through all of the bug fixes with the company. Next up, we have some news from Out of Darts about the Jupiter. So this was leaked in the Jupiter Proton Pack group, and this is a new custom board that I assume is going to be included with all Jupiters that the motors and all other components will go on. So this is a motherboard as far as I can tell and it's going to ha looks like it's going to have some status indicator lights as well as a few other things. Next up we have a Nerf Out of Darts Jupiter holster. So I don't know how long this has been available but I've just found out about it via Facebook but this is a holster that fits the Out of Darts Jupiter perfectly and it is perfectly designed for that and you can choose a whole range of different colors plus the left hand or right handedness of the thing. So I think this is pretty cool and is 28 British pounds which comes out to be about $36 United States and of course you will have to pay for shipping and everything but this is pretty cool i don't have a jupiter but i am wanting one and if i do get a jupiter i will probably be picking one of these up next up we have some paintball -y news so no this is not going to be about paintball but it is made by a paintball company which is sells words paintball so this is a collaborative effort codenamed duck and it is going to go on a paintball blaster as far as i can tell 
and in this paintball blaster it's a 3d printed kit that is going to go on the crossman 357w or crossman vigilante revolver and this is going to make it be able to shoot half length darts this is a 50 dollar kit which is really expensive for a very small kit as it seems to be Plus, you also have to buy the paintball gun, so I don't really see this being useful at all, but it's just another option out there. Next up, we have the Avengers Endgame Panther Blaster. This was just leaked a day or so ago, and this is the Black Panther Blaster, and it's going to come with three purple elite darts, plus all of the normal attachments. This is actually now available for purchase at Walmart for 25 United States dollars. There'll be a link to the Walmart in the description box below, below the post link. And last but not least for today, we have some more information on the turkey. I believe I talked about this, but I may not have a couple Nerf News episodes ago, but this is a semi-automatic half-length dart blaster, and I don't know if this is compatible with Talon or Katana mags. It may just be a proprietary magazine, but I hope and I believe it is compatible with Talon and Katana. So this is now available on Thingiverse, and with that, that's going to end this episode of Nerf News. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and share for weekly Nerf News mod reviews and more. I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and I'll see you next time.